People with albinism have little to no melanin, the pigment that colors hair, skin, and eyes. It's a rare condition to have. In the USA, just 1 in 18,000 to 20,000 people is albino. But ocular albinism is even more unique. Experts don't know exact numbers, but they think only 1 out of 50,000 individuals has it. If a person has ocular albinism, nothing but their eyes gets affected. Their skin and hair might be a bit lighter than those of their family members, but the difference isn't that big. Bright sunlight makes 17 to 35% of people sneeze. This phenomenon is called the photic sneeze reflex. In the Greek language, it's called sun sneezing. It happens when the nervous system misfires. When it happens, one of the nerves might get the reflexes wrong. And then, bright sunlight not only makes your pupils contract, but also activates the nose membranes. When natural, fair hair is rare in adults. It almost always darkens with age. People who are more likely to keep their hair color light are those living in the north. The Bajau is a group of nomadic people that live in the waters around the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Thanks to a rare DNA mutation, they can stay underwater for up to 13 minutes. The Bajau people have evolved spleens that are way larger than average. This feature provides them with a genetic advantage. Sea nomads need it to hunt for fish or look for underwater stuff that can be used in crafts. A particular gene mutation results in super-dense bones that are almost impossible to break. They're several times tougher than the average person's bones. These people's skin is also less prone to aging. It might sound cool, but there are drawbacks. When such tough bones grow, they often put too much pressure on the nerves surrounding them and the brain. There are three kinds of cone cells in the average person's eyes. They help to recognize the colors in the blue, red, and green spectrums. Thanks to them, most people can distinguish around 1 million different shades. But those with tetrachromacy have four cones in their eyes. This feature allows them to see up to 100 million different hues. However rare this vision anomaly is, it's still much more common in women than in men. By the way, most people with tetrachromacy don't realize they see the world brighter than others. Only a bit more than 8% of people have counterclockwise hair whirls on their heads. A hair whirl can be single or double. Very few people have triple whirls, but those do exist. Not all experts agree with this theory, but some researchers claim there's a connection between handedness and the direction of a hair whirl. Left-handed people are five times more likely to have a counterclockwise whirl than those with the dominant right hand. Only 1 to 5 people in every 10,000 have an unusually shaped pupil. In most cases, it looks a bit like a keyhole or a cat's eye. This eye disorder is called iris coloboma. Scientists believe it's mostly genetic in origin. Super tasters are people who taste particular flavors more strongly than others. They have more taste buds. Those are small mushroom-shaped bumps littering the tongue. They're covered with taste receptors that tell your brain what you're eating. This feature also makes super tasters more sensitive to certain foods. For example, too sweet, bitter, or salty. They also have more pain receptors on their tongues. That's why such people avoid spicy food. The numbers vary around the world, but in general, 25 to 30 percent of people are super tasters. From 40 to 50 percent are average tasters, and 25 to 30 percent are non tasters. Those have poor taste perception. Less than 1 percent of the world's population has a rare condition called dextrocardia. That's when the heart points toward the right side of the chest, not the left one. In rare cases, people with this unique quality have all their internal organs on the mirror image side of the body. Only 1 to 5 people in 10,000 have what's called perfect or absolute pitch. It's the ability to identify and recreate musical tones. This feature often runs in families. It's also more likely to occur in people who started their musical training before they turned 6. Ancient Greeks had stories about fire-breathing creatures called chimeras. They were a fearsome mixture of a goat, lion, and snake. In real life, Chimeras are people who have two different sets of DNA. Scientists have recorded no more than 100 cases of human chimerism. 
The DEC2G mutation allows people to get away with just a few hours of sleep a night and still feel great. Such short sleepers don't feel tired, and they never sleep in. Their usual wake-up time is 4 or 5 a.m. Wow, not me. Only up to 5% of people have this feature. Scientists from the University of California have also made an interesting discovery. They claim that people with a DEC2 mutation need less time to perform certain tasks than regular sleepers. Morton's toe is a foot structure where the second toe is longer than the first one. Only 3-22% to of people in the world have their feet shaped this way. Michelangelo's David and the Statue of Liberty are among them. Unlike the majority of the world's population, 1.5% of people have just one palmar crease. That's the line running across your palm. Men are more likely to have a single palmar crease than women. Most often, this feature runs in families. Only 3% of people in the world have lines that form the letters X on both of their palms. In many cultures, this rare feature is believed to be a sign of a strong personality. One in every 500 people has an extra rib called a cervical. The average human has two dozen ribs, 12 on each side of the body. But those lucky ones can have 25 or even 26. Excessive ribs are more often found in women. They're located in the cervical spine area and grow just above the collarbones. Their size can be different, from just barely developed to fully grown ones. In most cases, cervical ribs don't affect a person's well-being, unless they grow too large. In this case, they do cause discomfort. No more than 50 people have ever had Rh null blood type, so precious that it was nicknamed golden blood. It can be donated to people who have incredibly rare blood types and can't accept any other. For the first time, golden blood was discovered in an Australian Aboriginal woman. If you have a tiny hole near your ear, you're unique. It occurs in only 5% of people in the world. In the USA, less than 1% of people are born with this hole. In Asia and some parts of Africa, the number is a bit higher, from 4 to 10%. This feature is often inherited genetically. It can be present on one or both ears. This distribution is 50-50. The hole may go all the way through, or it can be a dimple, dent, or even a small lump. There's a theory that the little hole is an atavism, left from the times when all living beings had gills. There's a gene mutation that helps people keep their bad cholesterol levels extremely low. In this case, the gene instructs the body to produce a protein that curbs the amount of cholesterol in the blood. Unfortunately, only 2-3% to of people have this useful ability. About 65% of the world's population have loop-shaped fingerprints. Another 30% of fingerprints are world-shaped. And only 5% of people have arch-shaped fingerprints. They can be plain or tented arches. Around 35% of the world's population don't have to worry about the pain and inconvenience of wisdom teeth breaking through the gums simply because they don't have them. But around 5 million not-so-lucky people go through wisdom teeth removal every year. Some people have more than one row of eyelashes. This phenomenon is a genetic mutation called dystichiasis. A person with this condition has a second set of eyelashes growing behind the first. All these thick, lush lashes sure look beautiful, but they can also cause some discomfort. Some hairs can start growing in the wrong direction or in the place where an oil gland is supposed to be. It can cause irritation and tearing. Experts are sure that Tibetan people have genetically changed to be able to live at high altitudes. They have a gene that helps to adapt to falling oxygen levels amazingly fast. This evolutionary mutation has been one of the fastest ever recorded in people. It took a mere 3,000 years to develop.